craving more depth, <laughs> more depth, more engagement, more substance, you know. And then also sort of getting married to an Armenian from Istanbul and uh, who is also Christian and our very strong Christian faith and our joint interest in exploring this more substantively and getting involved in the community, asking deeper questions. Laura's family's family listened to the same music that we listened uh, in Istanbul, Turkish music. Her grandfather used to play the zurna here, and her grandfather left uh, right after the genocide. You know, her family grew up in the church, which is the same as the church that I grew up. You know, the services are the same, the language is the same, the belief is the same. So, um, and it's really amazing when you think about that, how that could be spread all over the world. And there is this sort of tie and connection that really connects us all together. Yabancı, yabancı da değiliz ama işte Türk değiliz onun için nedir onu da bilmiyorum. Sonra işte, işte çıkartmışlar evlerinden. Ee, hayvan sesi, ayaklarına sesi geliyormuş. Dedem demiş ki, misafir geliyor, misafir odasını hazırlayın demiş. Okey, onlar da öyle yapmışlar. Bir de bakmışlar ki, misafir değil ki, üç tane jandarma. İki güne kadar buradan çıkacaksınız. Nereye gideceğiz? İşte ortalığı görüyorsun, bazı konuşmaları dokanıyor sana, bazı işler dokanıyor, işli bulamıyorsun, o çocuğun bir iş bulamıyor, edemiyor. Ondan sonra da diyorsun ki madem böyleydi, biz de burada çekek gidelim ve başka bir yerde iş bulalım. Yoksa bizim işimiz neydi, evimiz ve aklımız varken buralarda. Denize beş dakika yürüyerek giderdik, her sabah kalkardık, denize girerdik. Ben eve giderdim, o işine giderdim. Çok iyi yerdeydik ama ne yapalım olmadı işte. Bu Türk komşularımız vardı, onların kızları yanında arkadaştık. Biz iyi geçinirdik insanlarını. Gel gelelim ki o taraf işte gavur, bir gavur tutturmuşlardı. Nedir, ne demek onu da bildikleri yok. O zamanlar daha şimdiye kadar da öyleyiz. Kışın kar topu yerdik, yazın Taştan bir yere gidiyorsak arkamıza atarlardı gavurlar. I know that growing up or hearing stories about my husband's family and the whole gavur issue and a story for example my father-in-law mother-in-law being uh, you know maybe 25 years ago on the beach in Istanbul and having a family next to them on the beach referred to, you know, Gavurs and Armenians mm -hmm. and not knowing that they were Armenian. I am an American, I am also Armenian, but I feel like that's the perfect marriage and 
Um, and I feel like, yes, I'm very far removed from the generation that lived in Turkey and immigrated to the States, but my parents are actually immigrants. I'm first generation in this country, so it's still something that um, I attribute to my upbringing as to being so important to me. I was always immersed in the Armenian community in New Jersey, New York, and America. It is taught in, our, in, in, in Turkey that you're not supposed to speak, think. Speak is one thing, but think about the genocide. It really didn't happen in every which way. It's ingrained in your brain. And if it, if it did happen, it was wartime and both sides were at fault and some people died and you just need to move on. So that's the attitude from kindergarten and that's how you grow up. And somehow it does get ingrained in you even if you move out, it's not that easy to let that go and you know, just switch gears and you know, just do the opposite. Now, I remember when they were first came, when they first came to New York, going to Times Square for the uh, April 24th commemoration, where um, you know, before that, before we moved, we didn't even know April 24th. We'd celebrate April 23rd, which was a Turkish holiday, and then we came here and found out, oh, there was something else that happened actually on April 24th. I feel like it just comes down to being a human being and caring about society, humanity, human rights. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Hi. Öğrenmesinler, öyle bir şey kalkıp da doğru dürüst çalışsınlar, geçinsinler. Kişi birbirimiz söylemeyiz, öyle bir şey. E, öyle bir şey, bakarsın karşılıklı gelir, öbürüyle kavga etmeye kalk. Ondan sonra da öyleydi, böyleymiş, şöyleymiş denmesin diye. Bir şey diyecek olsun, e, sus olun, onu siz söylemeyin, size düşmedi onlar derdik çocuklara. Yani barış... Olsun, Barış mi? olsun, sessiz olsun, sevgili olsun. It was kind of just, this happened. Yeah, it's still happening now, right? But, you know, nothing more, no, no emotion, no, we say like hockey when we talk about having enthusiasm or some sort of emotional connection to something, passion. There was no passion behind her words, even though it was obviously something that was disheartening to hear. She just never really associated herself with it anymore. It's just my responsibility to carry my story forward and bring it to the table with other people to discuss because history repeats itself. It's something that everyone should know by now. As Christians, we are taught to understand, have faith, forgive, have mercy, love, I and mean, that's what we're supposed to do. You, you have to love your enemy, right? And your enemy does not want to get rid of this idea. So what are you going to do about it? 